Hey everybody, Adam here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you a YouTube extension for, well it's actually a Chrome extension, but a YouTube helper tool that I really, really like. It's called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is kind of like Freedom's Heartbeat or Viral Video Spy, etc. But to me it's a lot more useful, like it actually embeds in YouTube and has a lot of useful features besides just showing you video tags and things like that, which it does do. So. Let's go ahead and jump to the desktop and I'm going to show you how it works. Alright, so if you're interested in downloading TubeBuddy, it is a free Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Internet Explorer, Explorer compatible plugin. Simply go to TubeBuddy.com to download it and install. Once you've installed it within Chrome specifically, when you go to YouTube, you're going to have this little TubeBuddy icon in the top right corner. Except when you first sign in, it's going to have a problem because you have to approve it to access your account's metadata like you see here. So may click where it says click here to fix the problem and then choose your Google account for that YouTube channel. Hit accept. All it wants is offline access to your account. It's not going to do anything with that access. Then go back to your videos page and you're good to go. Now I'm going to go over most of the basic features of TubeBuddy and there are some expanded ones that I might get to in a separate video, but I'm likely not going to cover all of the features of TubeBuddy simply because there are so many and there are so many little hidden features and things like that and they're constantly adding new ones. One of the great things I find about TubeBuddy is they're constantly looking for input from their users to add new features and features get added all the time. See if you click the TubeBuddy icon, you can submit an idea. And there you vote on other people's ideas, things like that. And they started a thing as soon as the YouTube cards went out to most people, asking if people wanted bulk card copying and people are supporting it, etc. You can get fast and friendly support by sending them a message, etc. So, just on your default video page, what does TubeBuddy give you? Well, if you look to the icon next to your little videos here, you can do what they call vid to vid promotions, which is basically anytime you want to promote a new video, it can po put that video in the description of all of your videos pretty much at the top of your description. And then it can also set it as the featured video promotion from your branding setup. And I will go to that here. I believe it's under channel featured content. There it is. See how it has. I have it set to be my most recent video. And then on every video at the end of the video, it's going to automatically pop up a little card pointing people to my most recent upload if they're not on that upload. Well, with TubeBuddy, you can, ha you can pick a specific video to have it do that automatically, or you can also have it to set up to where it can add a little quote at the top of all of your video descriptions to promote that video. And what's cool about it with TubeBuddy is it actually, autom you know, it dynamically does this. So if, say, today I want to promote this video in the bulk description, it'll add that little bit to the top of every description to promote the video. But then, say, tomorrow I want to promote this video instead, it will actually delete that previous one and put it there. That way your description isn't getting too clogged and crowded and things like that with videos that you don't actually want promoted anymore or that you still want people to get access to the information. Because editing descriptions, especially on channels that have videos as many as I do, I have over 1500 videos, becomes a real pain in the butt. You also have the option to bulk copy annotations. If you have annotations on your video, which this one of course does not, let me see if I can find one that does. I stopped using annotations, to be honest. I've, I switched to cards. Annotations really never got clicks for me, and I just never really wanted to use them. No, it would probably definitely be on God of War. So book copy annotations. Yep, there we go. I have four, six different spotlights. That was my end card, where it popped up and said, you know, it had two videos being promoted, which is that video and that video. And then it had my website, Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon campaign being promoted. So I can automatically just copy those annotations. So I'm going to choose that one, that one, that one, that one. I'm going to copy them all. So that would be an entire end card. You can just copy that end card and put it onto a video. And then you have to give it the video ID that you want it to copy to. So I'll just put it on one of my unlisted videos here. Put it on this one. Paste the video ID, get rid of the URL. It just wants the video ID, so that's the little random string of numbers and letters here. One video detected, and then hit continue. See, it's going to apply it here. Continue. Make sure you want to confirm all six. Yes, continue. Start copying, and it's done. 
Now when I go to that video I selected, render one no b-roll, let's mute it, and then skip all the way to the end here. Even though I don't actually have the end card on this video, you can see the annotations are all right here, ready to go. It was that easy. Now there are lots of other features in various aspects of TubeBuddy that you can find in some of your other situations. So let's head over to our community tab on YouTube and then go to messages. Actually, I don't think it's under messages. Let's go to subscribers. Now here's where you're gonna see something interesting. Here you're gonna see a status column, a social column, and then an extra little button here. This is all of your subscribers. Now TubeBuddy has an interesting thing where it'll automatically let you message new subscribers so you can sit here and type or you can set up what's called a campaign, which is just kind of like a message template. And so let's add a campaign. You can call it something new. Tutorial test. And then you say hi, and then you see this little icon down here. If you hit uh, hi, in bracket, in bracket, comma. Thanks so much for subscribing, blah, blah. And then hit save. Now, we're going to close back out of this, go back to the writing. Now I can choose that, and it's automatically going to fill in their name. Hi, T. Jackson. Thanks so much for subscribing, blah, blah. And then you can even tell it to automatically advance. So when you send one message, it'll take you to the next person you haven't sent a message to, and you can send another one. I would quickly like to give a disclaimer. I actually, uh, keep in mind, my subscriber count, I get about 500 subscribers a month. So that means every day I get quite a few subscribers. I did this for about three days straight, just sending messages to new subscribers, and I was actually given a two-week ban on commenting, messaging, and posting to Google Plus and YouTube, because that was considered way, like basically mass spam, even though it wasn't you know directly spam, but it was considered mass spam, and YouTube didn't like it, and so they gave me a temporary ban. So I would definitely exercise that feature with a bit of caution. That's going to be something that... You're going to want to use carefully, but for smaller channels, you should have no problem at all simply because you're not going to have huge amounts of subscribers that you're messaging at once. Now, the other cool feature with this, which I really like, is you can actually view the social media of your subscribers if they have it added to their account. So for most people, it's just going to be Google+, Plus. but if you find somebody with some subscribers that actually takes their channel seriously and like adds other links to their channel, like this guy right here, White Gaming Pro Tim. He has a Facebook, a Twitter, and a Google Plus tied to his account. So all I got to do is click that, and I can go tweet at them, or Facebook them, or looks like a second channel of theirs, or just their regular channel. And it makes it really easy to get in contact with your subscribers if you want or need to. And so, say if you want to avoid the risk of, hello, Massive Gaming with 214k subscribers, it even has this Twitch channel. And... So if you want to avoid the risk of, you know, getting hit with the issue that I did of messaging too many people and getting banned, well, you can just go send them a tweet and you'll be just fine. Now you got to do that a bit more manually, but it's still really convenient to be able to access all of that about your subscribers. I really like that feature. Obviously, YouTube only lets you post some, you know, certain social networks, but it's very useful. And then at the top here, you can actually export all of your subscribers' data. You can, it'll, it'll sort it by YouTube information, Twitter handles, Facebook handles, and Google Plus handles. And then you, it'll, it'll take about five minutes per thousand subscribers to start the export, and it's going to give you a CSV spreadsheet file. So you can go through it, sort it however you want in a database, keep an active database rolling, use it on your website in some sort of way. That is really, really useful for some people who are super data heavy. Another quite handy feature that TubeBuddy comes with within the actual YouTube integration here is you can set up multiple default profiles for your descriptions and tags and other metadata here on your upload defaults page for different situations. So this is my default. It's science and technology has my basic description format, and that's what YouTube has saved. So it just has the little YouTube in brackets. But let's say I want to set up one for gaming videos in case I upload gaming videos to this channel. And then let's say I want to take off this bit of the description and take off the geek network stuff for gaming videos for whatever reason and then i'll add in the tags gaming video games uh, lol random k and then we're going to make a new one based on this stuff and call it gaming and hit ok click ok 
Now this is now my gaming profile. But if I go back to the YouTube profile, it will have the science and technology default. So you can set this up for a variety of different videos when you're making videos. Now you will want to make sure that you save your YouTube default profile as a profile within TubeBuddy, or you might lose these settings. So I'm going to go ahead and hit new from this one and call it tech and hit OK and hit OK again. Now this is my tech profile. This is my default profile. So now when I go to upload a video, even though this is going to be a gaming video that I'm not actually going to post on this channel, that's not what I wanted to click. Just select this random video here. Now when I'm uploading a video, I can sit here and choose whether I want it to be the gaming default, which apply automatically changes all that, or the tech default. Click apply and it automatically uploads it all and gets rid of the tag that gaming added. That is really freaking awesome if you upload a variety of different content to your channel. Also on the upload page while we're here, you have a tag explorer option. Click tag explorer and you can find more tags for your video. So this is a Team Fortress 2 video. So I'm going to type Team Fortress 2 and hit explore and this kind of has some dumbed down keyboard searching kind of or keyword searching like in the video sense software that I showed in a previous video now here you can see things that people have been searching for more and more recently so Congo Fortress 2 expiration date and just click the little plus symbol and it will add it to your descript or to your tag field and you can add all those those are the top related ones based on what's being searched and these are actually tags that I don't entirely use. And then you can see I clicked on a tag and it gives you a bunch more, you know, it gives you that same information based on that tag. So now it's doing it for TF2. Then I can add all these and these are based within the last 12 months. And there's auto suggested tags, which is kind of what happens when you type the tag in the search bar and it pops up. There's all these things that people search for. Shows you a historical graph of how many people are searching for that keyword a map of where people are searching for the keyword, and then the top results of videos that come up when you search for that keyword. Again, very similar to that video sense functionality. And then when you're done, you can hit close. Now it is important to keep in mind you do only have a certain amount of free searches with video or TubeBuddy per month, I believe. Um, but if you, it's pretty cheap to get the little insider thing just to give them a small little contribution, which is what I did, then you get unlimited for that. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel our upload here. Two final two buddy features that I forgot to mention come in on video pages and the channel page. If you go to any YouTube channel on the channel page, there will be a TubeBuddy plus Social Blade icon. If you click that, it keeps you on the channel page, but it actually loads the Social Blade website for that channel. So it shows you all the information you would want to know about someone's YouTube channel in terms of their analytics. How many average views they get, how many average subscribers they get, a graph of that information just like you would get on the Social Blade website because it actually is the Social Blade website. Shows you when the account was created, what the category is, etc. And then you can even log in and interact with it if you want. This is very convenient. Lastly, if we go to a specific video, we'll go to my most recent video and go ahead and hit that mute button and pause it. Go down here and it also shows you the tags for that video. And if you're lazy and want to actually just directly copy those tags, you can simply click copy and it will copy it to the clipboard. Just hit Control C and hit OK. And then you can paste them in your own video. I would not recommend actually using someone's tags word for word as then you're going to be competing with a pre-existing video and it's not going to be entirely related to your video. But if you just want a couple of them out of there, it can be pretty convenient. Also, if you click any of the tags in the video, it will pop up the Tag Explorer, which will allow you to find more tags related to that keyword. That is pretty useful. And then lastly, TubeBuddy just provides simple links to basic things like your comments page, your messages page, analytics, subscribers, and my videos. Since otherwise it would take multiple clicks to hit here and go, okay, Creator Studio, Creator Studio, which actually takes you to your dashboard, and then click Video Manager, and then you get to your Video Manager page. You can simply click TubeBuddy and go to my videos or comments or whatever, and you're right there. Makes it a lot more convenient. I actually set up a bookmark up here on my Chrome window just to go straight to my videos for YouTube to make it easier. But that was before I had TubeBuddy. And that's about it for the basic functionality of TubeBuddy at the moment. Sorry this has been a bit longer video, I just wanted to make sure I covered as much as I could. Like I said, they are constantly listening for viewer feedback, they're constantly looking for new features to add, and they're constantly adding more features. So if there's something you don't see, it, or you, you know, that you want from it that you don't see in it, still 
install it and send them a message. Say, hey, I would love to see this feature in there. Wouldn't be surprised if it gets added within a couple weeks. Hope this video was helpful to you guys or interesting or what have you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out our link to our Patreon campaign where you can support us via monthly contribution in the description down below, as well as links to our social media and other channels, things like that, as well as, of course, the link to TubeBuddy. My name has been Adam, or Eat Bill's Box. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.